guys. So I've been out taking a little vacation, working on some other things, but it's time to get back to the MOG. I have a few things coming in for it, but while we wait for that, let's start doing something about that bed. So getting the bed off of these is actually pretty simple. It sits on these four ball mounts, so you just take out the two pins in that. It should have had another two pins holding the cylinder in there, but they're long gone. So all we gotta do is disconnect the hydraulics and we can lift the whole thing off with the cylinder. Alright guys, so here's the plan. I'm gonna build a completely new bed from scratch because it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot faster than trying to salvage this. You can already see there's a lot of places where this is completely rusted through and a lot of it is just paper thin. Also it's had a whole lot of repairs over the years and not all of it is up to scratch anymore. And things like this rear plate, this is actually meant to come off in case you have a three-point lift on the back. You can take this section out so you won't hit the bed with the lift. But this has all just been welded in place and it's giving in all the welds so it's coming off again. Also all the profiles are bent and a lot of it is just have really big gaps in it and it's just no good. So we're going to start over because that's going to be a lot faster and a lot simpler. I'm not going to try and completely replicate this because there's a lot of things I don't need like the section on the back and I don't have any easy way of getting these unusual profiles that it's made of so I'll make something the same size and something that will work just fine. Also this was actually supposed to be wooden originally but I'm going to keep it steel because that's just going to be a lot more rigid and a lot easier to work with. So as for the cylinder, unfortunately this is done for. It started to rust along here. Once you get deep rust like this, there's really not a whole lot you can do. Even if you put new seals in and clean this off, it's still going to be a rough surface. So it's going to keep destroying the seals. Now you can get new ones of these, specifically for the Unimog, but as with everything Unimog, they're quite expensive, so I'm probably gonna get a little creative and just get a new cylinder and get it mounted into this somehow, so uh, we'll see how that works out as we get to it.
It looked like all my measuring paid off because this fits really nicely. Everything is just tacked together for now and I purposely left out the middle because we can't really finish that until I know exactly where that hydraulic cylinder is going to sit. So we're going to have to turn our attention to that and figure something out. So I went and got a new cylinder for it. However, this is just a three stage cylinder where the old one is a four stage. But the overall length is a little longer on this one so the stroke should be about the same. However, the housing is a bit longer. That means I have to move it down a little on this pivot cradle mount. And also I'm gonna have to cut this up because there's really no way to get this old one out. They welded this thing around it. So I'm gonna have to cut it off, move the mounting points down and weld it all back together. So let's see if we can work something out.
So this is actually starting to look like a bed. Now I still need to weld everything underneath, so I'm gonna have to take the whole thing off again to do that. But I'm thinking while I have it at this convenient height, I'm gonna start doing some sides and a tailgate for it. So this is one of the old sides that was on it. Someone already did a few repairs on this, but they are really far gone. I'm not gonna bother with all the woodwork. I'm just gonna keep it all steel. I might reuse a few parts of these, like those uh, hitching points, but there's only three of them, so I'm gonna have to make some anyway. But uh, I think I'll just start building and uh, we'll see how it goes.
just gotta say, don't mind the color this is. It's not gonna be this color, I just gave it a quick coat of primer so it wouldn't rust until we get to paint the whole thing. Now I got a little carried away building this, so it took a little longer than I expected. I was actually gonna include the next project in this video as well, but it's all getting a little too long, so we're gonna end this one here. But I'll get started on that next project right away, so until then, take care and we'll see ya.